Shabbat Shalom and Chag Sameach. This coming Shabbat is Shabbat Kol Hamoed Pesach. There's no special, there's no Torah portion that we read. It is in its entirety a special Shabbat because it's the juxtaposition of two very happy and holy days. It is traditional that on this Shabbat we read the Megillah, the scroll of Song of Songs, Shir Hashirim. This is one of the books of the Bible, one of the five Megillot, that is argued about, discussed about, as much as any other. If you were to take a literal translation of the book Song of Songs, it is abundantly clear that there is a love story going on. And not just any love story, the greatest kind of love story that piques our interest, forbidden love, or in some way, love that you know but can't quite attain or can't quite capture. Many of us know the famous line from Shir Hashirim, Dodi Li, Ani Le Dodi Vidodi Li, right? I am my beloved, and my beloved is mine. But many people take a different tack when explaining the scroll of Shir Hashirim. A lot of people look at this book in a more metaphorical or midrashic way. They see this book as the love story between God and the Jewish people. Not the easiest of analogies to necessarily accept. Sometimes we know that God gets angry with us, and there are times throughout history where God's love seems somewhat foreign to us. And yet, we also know that Judaism must be something done with love. It's not that we can do it all the time with the utmost amount of love. But if we don't find any love within our religious expression, if we don't find any deep affection and connection to something that we're doing, then we need to take a closer look. What is it that you do in a Jewish context that makes you love being Jewish? What is it that makes you simultaneously love being Jewish and a human being in the world? I think that Pesach is the perfect time to explore this. And I would tell you that there's plenty there for all of us to find. We just might need to look a little deeper. Shabbat Shalom. Chag Sameach.